is uh, Dr. Joshua Derito, a family physician working with, uh, within Machakos County and uh, its environment. Uh, I also work with Wellness Health Services, one of our uh, uh, private uh, practices in Machakos Town. Wellness Health Services is a health centre that is involved in the provision of uh, health care services, primary health care services. So we'll be offering uh, a series of uh, health education uh, talks to help our patients and also our colleagues understand some of the commonly encountered health problems so that they can take their own personal responsibilities in managing these conditions. As we start, today we'll be talking about hypertension. I'll talk uh, briefly about uh, what is hypertension, uh, what are its symptoms and signs, and the, what are the best ways of taking the blood pressure. We will continue with a series of talks as we continue to, to educate our patients. So hypertension is a medical condition which presents with a high blood pressure. When you're talking about blood pressure, we are generally talking about two values. There's the upper value and the lower value. The upper, part, upper value, we call it the systolic blood pressure. It's a measure of the pressure as the heart contracts to pump blood into the body. Then the lower part, we call it the diastolic blood pressure, which is a measure of the pressure of the vessels as the heart relaxes. So when you're talking about someone having high blood pressure, for persons less than 60 years, we are talking about a blood pressure of more than 140 millimeters of mercury, a systolic, and a diastolic of uh, more than 90 millimeters of mercury. Then for persons more than uh, 60 years, we are talking about a blood pressure of more than 150 millimeters of mercury, and a diastolic blood pressure of more than 90 millimeters of mercury. So how do we measure blood pressures? There are three scenarios that uh, blood pressure can be measured. One is the facility-based uh, blood pressure measurement. There's also the home monitoring of blood pressure, and there's also the ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. So this is blood pressure that is monitored as the patients go around their daily duties. So there are prerequisites of what is required for someone to measure blood pressure. The best way is to be sure that some, before you say that someone has blood pressure. And this blood pressure must be taken on two occasions, roughly two weeks apart. The first prerequisite is that the patient should be seated for at least uh, five min minutes in a chair. His back should be supported uh, on a seat and his feet on the ground. There should be no intake of coffee or alcohol or smoking for at least uh, 15 minutes uh, before the blood pressure is taken. The other prerequisite, the patient should be quiet and also the person taking the blood pressure should also not talk. Then there should be remove, removal of clothing under the calf uh, where the blood pressure is being taken. Uh, the arm should be supported at the heart level of the patient and also the correct calf should be used and the, then the pressure should be repeated at least twice in the two arms and the lowest of the two should be the one considered as the patient's pressure. So I want to talk about home blood pressure monitoring. These days we have known that uh, uh, people have become educated on the importance of doing blood pressure and we have patients doing their blood pressure at home. So two of the things that I would uh, want to say is that all these things that I've outlined above should be observed even when you're doing your blood pressure at home. Then the next thing is blood pressure keeps on fluctuating depending on what one is doing. And so it should be taken early in the morning after the patient has take, woken up and late in the evening when the patient has uh, finished with his dinner and rested and observing all that I've said. So I want to talk about uh, some of the presentations of high blood pressure. Uh, the first thing is there's no obvious sign that one can tell you that 
I have blood pressure. Even myself as a doctor, even after working uh, for almost 20 years with patients with hypertension, I cannot tell you the symptoms of blood pressure. I cannot say that I can be able to tell you that I'm feeling the symptoms of blood pressure. So the only way to confirm that you have high blood pressure is to have your blood pressure taken. So the other issues when now we are starting to feel the symptoms and what we think would be symptoms of a high blood pressure is when there is already presentation of head organ damage. One of the challenges of high blood pressure, because of the narrowing of blood pressure, it causes uh, damage to vessels. And this will affect various organs like the brain, the heart, the kidneys, the feet, and the peripheral organs. So once this is, has happened, patients might present with a blurring of vision, they may complain of uh, frequent headaches, they may con complain of dizziness, they may, continue, they may complain of general body weakness, and they may also complain of uh, chest pain, what is commonly called in the medical grounds as agina. Other presentation with when patients present with head organ damage, they can present with a stroke, they can uh, present with a kidney failure, they can present with heart failure or uh, a heart attack, and this will be the, uh, the end result of the raised blood pressure. So in summary, uh, for today, I would want to summarize and say that uh, it's very essential that we learn to have our, be our blood pressure taken frequently. Let's remember the three centers of blood pressure uh, monitoring, which is a health facility based uh, blood pressure measurement, uh, self monitoring of blood pressure at home, and the ability blood pressure, which is blood pressure, which is initiated by a healthcare provider to continuously monitor uh, your blood pressure for various indications. I've summarized the essentials of uh, what is required for your blood pressure to be taken and so this will be of help to us. So thank you very much. We will continue with this series and I hope that there will be of benefit to you as we continue to educate each other.